Supergirl TV show. Supergirl. I'm not a fan of DC Comics, so uh, let's talk about this. Okay, so a lot of people aren't going to want to hear me say this because, I mean, it's like almost taking a shot at DC Comics. Let me just say, DC Comics makes some terrible fucking movies. I mean, Batman, Dark Knight, good shit. Dark Knight Rising, good shit. Batman Begins, good shit. Superman. Now, the last Superman that came out um, with Big Swole... That was actually pretty good. I like that. Even though Superman was like kind of like a homeless trucker. And, you know, he had like the Wolverine vibe going. I mean, it was kind of biting Wolverine, it felt like. But, I mean, I understand. They want to do a kind of a different take on Superman. Like, like his morality was kind of fucked up. So, he wasn't sure about it. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad. 7 out of 10. Seven, I can get a Superman movie a solid 7 out of 10. Sorry, Mike Davis. I had to had to do it. Sorry, Davis. I had to do it. But, um, no. Anyway, besides that fact, let's talk about Supergirl. Now, it's on CBS. CBS isn't really known for shows, like, as far as superhero type shows. So, I don't know how that's going to go. But it's made from the same people that do Arrow and Flash. Now, Arrow and The Flash actually are good shows. Now, DC makes some shitty movies, but for some mystical reason, DC actually makes good fucking shows. Their shows do well. It's like the opposite with Marvel. Avengers is a great fucking movie. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that sucks balls. It's a horrible fucking show. Like, I watch it, you know, just because I'm, like, true to Marvel, but it fucking sucks. It's like, damn, why does... It's like a boring show. But DC, for some reason, it makes pretty good shows. Except Gotham. I'm not that big of a Gotham fan. Gotham's okay. But I'm not a huge Gotham fan. I'm not sold on the whole Gotham thing. I tried it. I watched it. Not too. I mean, sometimes it's good. Sometimes you got a guy killing people with, like, fucking balloons. It, it, it's fucking gay. But, or, or excuse me, it, it sucks. But um, Arrow, great show. Flash, great show. They're actually coming out with good DC shows. Um, they're coming out with Legends of Tomorrow. I'm going to do a small video on that. They're coming out with a Suicide Squad movie. I'm going to do a video about that. And um, I think it's going to suck because DC movies, you know. But And then they got the Batman vs. Superman. Now, at first, I'm going to do a breakdown of that trailer. At first, I thought, like, maybe, okay, it sounds like it might suck because Batman vs. Superman, like, why would they even fight? But then they have the whole Superman is god complex batman don't like that shit i i could i could be down with that and ben affleck i mean he seemed like a fucking hater batman type so voila um i mean ben affleck sucked at fucking daredevil daredevil was the worst the new daredevil series that's a good mar that's one good marvel tv series i'll i'll actually do a video about that because that's actually a good series okay back to supergirl so Supergirl is made by DC Comics. Not only is Supergirl made by DC Comics, Supergirl, even though it's going to be on CBS, CBS owns CW, same people. So that means the same people that create Arrow and Flash, like I was saying earlier, are creating Supergirl. So it's going to be a lot of crossovers. I don't know about season one if it's going to be a lot because, I mean, you know, they're their own entities and shit. And season, season one of The Flash just ended. Arrow season just ended, so I don't know how much it's going to be, but there are going to be crossovers because it's owned by the same people, so it's allowed. Um, and I think it'd be pretty good. It'll definitely help out. Now, what it seems that what DC Comics does, they'll take a big name's story plot. And even though the story plot might not be that great, you might not pay attention to the story plot that much, but it's good enough to grab you. They'll take it from a huge character and they'll put it on a minor character and make it a show. Like Arrow. What the hell does Razak go in the League of Shadows have to do with Arrow? That was old Batman thing, right? 
But for the show, they placed that in an arrow and made a whole season out of this shit. You know, so, I mean, they made the League of Shadows a huge fucking deal. Um, Flash, you know, he's fighting his Flash people, you know, whatever. Um, as far as Supergirl, though, they got her fighting people from, oh, shit, the Phantom Zone. Oh, no, they're from the Phantom Zone. So it's like, okay, great. So the same motherfucker Superman was fighting in Smallville and in the show Zod and all them. So those are the people that are coming for Supergirl. Seems like kind of a fucking pattern. They so just like Arrow took shit from Batman. Now this is the big villains on TV. Supergirl might be taking shit from Superman. The whole thing with the Supergirl. It seems like it could be funny because just imagine Felicity from Arrow or some goofy chick being Supergirl. That fits. And then they also got her getting her ass kicked a lot. Like I'm not gonna in the video that I do about the episode one, the pilot. I'm going to go into detail about like a lot of stuff with it. This is just explaining the trailer and like the expectations. But um, I think they're going to have her getting her ass kicked a lot because it seems that she doesn't know much about using her powers because she was talking about, oh, I can't fly and stuff in the preview. So she doesn't know much about using her powers. Like she knows she has them. She knows she can do these things eventually, but she doesn't do them on the regular, which is a good thing. That means she's not going to be like, like kicking everybody's ass because you want to hear all that you can relate to. Then um, she's got a couple of uh, characters that looks like a good, like, let's say, supporting role characters. Like Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy Olsen from Batman is Jim, and um, he's actually in the series, too. And uh, they got a brother playing him. Big ups to that. You know what I'm saying? Got a, got a brother being in. And then also, he's going to be her love interest, which I think is very good. They got uh, Jimmy being Supergirl's love interest. Which is, I think it's pretty cool because a lot of these superhero shows, it seems that they're doing a lot of mixed couples. And I think that's a cool thing because it's bringing unity. It means that like, hey, love doesn't have a color. So I big ups to that. Um, she's got a little techie guy. You know, every, every superhero needs a fucking tech guy. She's got her little lair because she's going to be working with the government. Uh, she's going to be working under this guy. Uh, he seems like a big time fucking asshole. I mean, he's a brother, but he's a fucking dick. Like, you can already tell. So, I mean, I don't think he's going to be like a protagonist or anything. I think he's just going to be like a supporting. He's, you know, he's not going to be the antagonist, but he's going to be the supporting character. He's going to be like, like in Superman, they got that hard ass general who doesn't want to work with Superman, but he has to work with Superman because he needs him to save the world and shit, but he doesn't want to admit it to himself. That's the situation that Supergirl's gonna be in. The guy's not gonna wanna admit it, but I mean, he's gonna need him. Or need her, I should say. Um, Supergirl also has a sister, uh, an adopted sister who's like a secret agent. I guess she's like DC's version of Black Widow, I would say, because she came down kicking ass and all that stuff. So she's gonna be doing that. Um, that's the chick from Grey's Anatomy. Um, yeah, she was a great, she was a Meredith's sister, one of Meredith's sister. You know, she got a, she got a black sister, she got a white sister, so she's, she's the white sister. Um, what else we got? We also got, it looks like, uh, Allie McBeal is playing her fucking boss. Allie McBeal, your boss, doesn't make any sense. It's kind of gay, but okay, I guess she needed work. So, uh, Adam McBeal's gonna be playing a boss, which would probably be pretty cool. It's like, it seems like this show's gonna be Smallville meets Devil Wears Prada meets The Flash, kind of. That, that's what situation's gonna be. Because her boss is gonna be a dick. Her military boss is gonna be a dick. So it's like, even when she's like, either personality is Supergirl or, uh, whatever her regular name is, she's gonna be a regular fucking person. So that's gonna suck for her. But, hey, you know, sometimes you just gotta deal. So, um, uh, right now it seems like it might be a pretty good series. Uh, I think it's worth checking out, uh, past the pilot episode, because pilots are usually, you're not gonna see too much you're gonna want to see off a of pilot, so. But, uh, hopefully it's gonna be a good show. Um, it's gonna be a So, all in all, it seems that Supergirl's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good series, because Arrow was a good series, Flash was a good series, so, check out Supergirl, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, all in all so uh, like this video subscribe uh, check out my orphan black video that I'm about to do 
check out the Supergirl pilot because I didn't download it, but uh, somebody did, and I managed to watch it with my brothers and their friends, so I saw it. So I'm going to do a video about that, and don't worry, I'm going to put spoiler on the thing, so if you want to see it and you don't want to hear about it, you don't have to. You know, you it's going to have a spoiler tag on the video, but at the same token, yeah, I'm doing a video on it, what? Say something, do something. Subscribe to this channel, please subscribe, subscribe, motherfucker. No, no, subscribe though, like this video, and um, view it, man. Tell a friend, share it, man. Like it on Facebook, man. Holler at me on Twitter, man. Check out my Instagram, bitch. Nah, I'm just playing. But I appreciate you guys watching it, and um, good talk. <laughs>